Hi everyone, today I'll be showing you how to make these two lovely festive trays. I had made mirrored trays similar to this and it's my most popular video, so it inspired me to want to make festive trays. Let's get started. So we'll start with this super easy one and that's a red buffalo plaid tray. And so what you're going to need is three 8 times 10 frames or really whatever size you want. I got these from Dollar Tree. And what you want to do is you want to take out the backing for two of these you want them two of them to be completely hollow and you want to save one with the backing and the glass in it and you want to go ahead and take those little back things off of two of them but you want to keep them for once so you can see here these two are completely bare and smooth and they don't have those little backings to hold in place and then one of them do because this is going to be your bottom you're going to want to be putting your glass in the backing back so you can see that is the bottom there and then you're going to stack the two without the holders there like that and that would essentially make up your tray and then all you got to do is glue these frames together and there you go. So I wasn't super careful with this, so it's not perfect, but if you're more perfect, it would look a lot better. But this will be the base of your frame. Okay, and here, then you're gonna need some Buffalo plaid wrapping paper, and I'm gonna be honest here. I forgot that I was wanting to do this craft, and I had used all my Buffalo plaid wrapping paper, so I had taken a gift that was already wrapped and used that, so that, sorry, this is kind of a little messed up. But you wanna go ahead and wrap it around the paper that already came in the frame, because fits it perfectly insert your glass back into the frame and it's gonna sit perfectly in there and then you want to add that and it doesn't matter if the back is all crummy looking like mine because you're gonna have another backing and if you wanted to go ahead and put like some black velvet or black felt on this to cover that all up you definitely can I just didn't at this time but yeah you definitely can do whatever you want and there you go that's how it turned out so again if the paper was better this would look a lot better you can see some scratches there but you get the idea and I really love the idea of this and so the next one I called my red yarn snowflake tray so this did not turn out exactly what I had envisioned but it evolved along the way so this one you also need three frames as well I had these three silver ones laying around I also wanted to make handles for these trays so I have this jute rope and I got this like sticker here it's like a big giant sticker and some red paint so you're gonna do the exact same thing that you did with the first tray and you're gonna take everything out of two frames and you're gonna take everything out of the middle and you're gonna take the little handles out as well and then you're going to leave one with the backing and the handles for this one I didn't decide to use glass because I was gonna use the jute rope for handles and the sticker kind of has the jute rope type type of texture on it so I wanted no glass with this so this is what it ends up looking like. So again, you can see two are completely smooth here. And then one has the little backings on there, which will end up being the bottom again. So the first thing I did here is I just went ahead and painted this frames red. So I just wanted a red in my mind. I thought the red snowflakes and a red frame would match really nicely. So I just went ahead and painted it. And for each of the trays, you don't have to actually paint the whole thing for the frame that's going to be your top yes you do have to paint the entire thing and paint the top and the sides for the second one you only have to paint the sides and for the bottom one you also only have to paint uh, the sides and the bottom so this is what I mean by that so you can see I only painted one fully and then the other two I only did the sides because the top one is only going to show on the top and it's going to be covered anyways go ahead and glue that so the next thing i did was to try to make some handles so i cut about five inches six inches of jute rope here and i tried to kind of play around to see where it fit in so i only glued actually together two so yeah so sorry make sure to only do two frames glue before you can do this and then so I kind of played around with the jute rope made my handle to the size of my hand that I liked and I literally just took my hot glue gun and glued it right down and that worked really nicely and I just did the other side as well and it really made a nice handle and as you can see it's nice and strong and firm and then basically once that is done on both sides I glued the top frame on to make the tray inside part so I took this sticker out and because the size again is perfect already with what it came with I literally just am pulling the sticker off and putting on the back of the picture because I did it first with the picture but you can see right through it so that wasn't good so definitely use the back of that and just apply the sticker as 
you want to or whatever you have if you can, don't find like a peel sticker like this honestly you can use some scrapbook paper or just a fancy type of sheet it doesn't have to be a sticker you can glue it on but I just was able to find a sticker to use and you can see that and I just cut off whatever excess was on there and then there you go it fits in there perfectly so this didn't turn out exactly what I wanted and I forgot to paint the inside so I was not loving this at all so I had an idea I got this red yarn and so what I thought I'd do is just go ahead and wrap it around and it actually worked out really nicely so I wrapped it it took forever to do like honestly like it took a few days to get this all done but I wrapped it around one by one I made sure the outside was really tight the inside not so much but if you wanted to be more particular you could and then you go ahead and add that in there and I loved loved this so much better and you can still see that the little handle spoke thingies are out there so it's easy to put that in there and then cover it up and again you can add some red velvet or some red felt to cover it and yeah here was the final result of that and I love that this one is super functional like obviously you can't carry like a huge amount of weight in here but you definitely could add little items in there to carry around put decorations in maybe have some little snacks in there I think it's perfect for that and again I really liked how this turned out you can see it's pretty easy to put some decorations in there and it just looks so lovely and so festive and I really loved how it turned out with string and it's a really good example of like I had a different vision in my mind with the red paint but it did not work out but I'm really happy with how this ended up and here are both of them side to side so you know which one do you like better do you like the red buffalo plaid or do you like the yarn type of tray reminds me of like a granny grandpa thing which I absolutely love and I think it's absolutely adorable I love actually both of them for very different reasons and I guess I'll show you what I'm actually using it for so for the red buffalo plaid because my theme is red buffalo plaid I usually have a frame like this that's white that I use for as a remote holder so that's exactly what I'm using it for now and it's working great and the tray actually ended up putting it as a little centerpiece in my living room because it just goes along with the colors perfect and I just think it's absolutely adorable so yeah comment below on which one you like better as I would love to hear your thoughts thank you so much for watching until next time bye bye